All right, it's Wednesday, December 11, 2019. This is a day trading recap, sort of, and just one trade. I'm still going to be trading today because I didn't, I didn't get much out of my first trade, um, but I mismanaged it and I traded yesterday. And I didn't get a chance to recap, uh, and I'll show that trade. So first, the trade today, which popped up in this gappers up down list um, that I put together, and uh, it's no longer there. It was a, it's a mining stock. It was called Nem, uh, Newmont Gold Corp. Uh, mining. So I misplayed. I, I can't even say I misplayed this, but you can see how I got in and out, and then eventually it, it got, got way above uh, where my target was, or it got to my target, and it's still moving. This, I got in, and then I had a phone call, and I just didn't trust uh, myself to be able to multitask on the phone and trade this because I took it early. I rarely take the first a trade in the first half hour, and I took this trade at uh, 9:46, and I. I got out at 9:48, so almost just just basically two two minutes later, and I I did that because again I had a phone call and I just didn't trust that I'd be able to manage the trade while I was in the phone call. Uh, but you can see what happened is um, it went up and uh, once it got here, I this is where I it kind of topped off here, so I took some out or I took the whole I took myself out of the trade and then it kind of topped off here. I probably would have gotten out anyway right around here. Once it made this topping tail, at least I would have partialed out at 40.55, but I got in at uh, 40.43 and got out at 40.49. So I only got a six cent gain out of it, but I, I'm, I'm guessing that I probably would have taken most of my shares out around 40.55 anyway. Uh, but you can see it did come back down rest on the 8 EMA, and it's kind of choppy here. Uh, but it did stay above, um, for the most part, above my entry. It never got down to my stop and then eventually hit my first target at 4069. So that phone call kind of cost me some money. Um, that, that, so that's unfortunate. Uh, yesterday was similar, but I can't blame it on a phone call. It was just poor management of my trade. And that was MU, which has been a, just a great tr stock to trade over the last year plus uh, early in the day. I know a lot of day traders over at Bear Bull Traders uh, have been trading that. And today I just noticed it because it came up on my pre-market scan. If I go to my one minute scan, uh, today was actually an amazing trade. Today you can see it had a beautiful, beautiful move up after the, uh, after the open 9.30. Kind of just broke that, broke through VWAP uh, as it was below it in the pre-market and then just took off all the way from below 48 to above 49. So that, I I was watching it and I just didn't feel like I could pull the trigger on that one today. But yesterday I did trade it. So I got in at uh, 9.38 and I got nervous when it kind of hit this top, this this mark right here at 47. I got in at 47, uh, what did I get in at? 47.15 right here. And then I might as well show this on the, uh, on the 8 EMA here. So I got in here at 47.15 and I had a big topping tail and I took some out at 47.38. Uh, uh, so that was a pretty nice nice gain there, 47.38 from 47.15. But the problem was uh, it kind of had a topping tail and came all the way down and I took the rest of my shares out. What I should have done is just moved um, move my stop up a little uh, from where it was. I think I, my stop was below 47. I said if it breaks 47, I'll get out. So I could have just moved my stop up just a little bit to maybe up like 47.05 in that area maybe. Uh, although I, I guess I would have gotten t stopped out with, uh, on this candle if I took it out once it tipped it. Uh, but I could have just left my stop where it was because I had taken enough shares here off here that if it came back and hit my stop, I still would have been in the green, uh, in the black. So it just... It just I got nervous and I took it out and I didn't re-enter and you can see what it did. It eventually went from where I got in at 47.15 and the high of the day was 47.92. So uh, over 75 cents of a gain there and I just I just just because I got nervous here I took some out and then and then I didn't feel like I could get back in or hold on to the remaining shares and and I t I just got everything out really quick so. Uh, that was unfortunate, and it, you know, kind of, I kind of mirrored that today when I when I took my trade of uh, Nem, where I just got in and got out really quick. Although this was this was because of a phone call, but you can see it did come back down here. I probably would have gotten out. Uh, it's not pretty, but I mean, eventually it, it would have it ma made its way up to my first target. So unfortunate trade. There's a lot of other stocks I'm monitoring today. Um, PLC was early in the day, although there were no shorts available on, on IB, so you couldn't really short it if you were, if that was your broker. 
Uh, I'm not sure how many other brokers had it, but and then a American Eagle had a big jump at the, at the open and then kind of faded. So that's it. I'm gonna hopefully find something else later this afternoon. I'm gonna be looking for afternoon trades now, cause uh, just two days of just little tiny little gains, nothing really going on. Actually, you can see this little down, and then it kind of is making a little bit of a on the 15 minute, a little bit of a of a of a. Um, a curve back up so I'll watch this see see the 8 and the 20 just cross right here so this could be one to watch we'll see if, if I end up trading this um, I'll post a video but good luck trading and uh, hopefully be back either later today or tomorrow